Hey guys, all right, so I did tell you that I had an announcement for you today, and as you can see, this is very different. So, welcome to the game called State of Survival. I'm not going to lie, I am finding this incredibly intriguing. Not only am I finding it intriguing, but I'm not, I'm really surprised at how much stuff you're given. So this is a five minute research speed up, right? Next transmission, transmission in two minutes and 51 seconds and counting. So every couple of minutes at this Intel post, something pops up and it's usually about a five minute or one minute boost, which you can then use to speed up builds, build up, speed up training, um, your army up. And again, they hand them out so often it really is just crazy now right now they have this special event going on and we're definitely going to look at it um and we're going to take a good look at this game for a minute and I'm going to show you it and I'm going to play it for a little bit and really let you see it um I've been playing it for about mm, two weeks now week and a half on and off nothing super serious yet I really hit this super seriously yesterday um yeah starting yesterday and um I've been in welcomed to more alliances than I could tell you, which I would assume is the same thing as The Walking Dead uses factions. So in this game, I have noticed that you have a regular red dot on wherever you need to go. They also give you um, tips on, hey, you know, things are completed. So there we go. I just trained some more people. All right, let's say we're going to train even more. And then over here, I want to say I had training going on here. Yep. And I can train more of these. All right. So basically, this game is a zombie game. And it is a ton of fun. And the elements to it are never ending. I have, I'm very new at learning this. But it's very self-explanatory. And I'm enjoying that part of it. That part, part alone is really awesome. And this, I'm going to show you how. So, okay. Obviously, it says troops won't train themselves over here. And then you have, okay. And I apologize. Um, but you have right here, hunters. So go to, okay, well, I can train hunters here. So, of course, I want to train them. Then, again, knowledge is power. Next thing I need to do is research. And then it literally points out what you need to do next as you learn the game. And research it. You can speed it up. And then, of course, you know, you can use something like this. Your one minute, et cetera, et cetera. Seeing how short it is, I'm not going to use one. It will be over in a second. All right, or a couple of seconds. So the next one up is that Intel Post has received another transmission. So I just showed you guys this. It really does come. Again, here's another five-minute build speed up. And now this one is in five minutes. It is unbelievable. Um, I haven't seen it go past five minutes yet, so we will go ahead and see that now. So obviously, we have all this going on over here. And then you have the Wilderness March Slots. Okay, that I haven't learned much about. I have learned marching. I have learned and went out into the world. Um, I'm just not exactly sure what that section exactly is. Again, only level five, just started out. All right, so as I said before, the red dots are your go-to. So I'm going to go to my red dots. These are my heroes that I've collected. So obviously... They go ahead in order of rarity. She is pretty badass, not going to lie. Um, sure, that bear sets up and attacks. So you guys are going to get to see all of this, I promise. All right, so with this, though, she obviously can be, there's a red dot over on the plus. So you go over here and you look and, oh, it's experience. Okay, great. The experience is she um, can be upgraded and therefore become more powerful. And now she's leveled up. 
All right, so she's got her attack, her defense, and her health, her march capacity, which is, you know, marching. Again, it's it's the military. It's going out there. It's super cool, and, and I'll show you. And then you can continue to level her up over and over and over again. Um, and then as you can see, if you use a little over, say this is 100 XP, well, it's obviously going to be more than 100. It does go on over to the next, so it does carry on. And I did notice that with the food and the wood as well. Food and wood are just in every game. You just need them, right? Material and food, building stuff, and in and, and these types of games. Um, and I did notice that they very much so have, um, that whole thing going on as well. Okay. So here is, you know, my second hero. This is Sarge. Everybody starts out with him and then you go searching for other ones. So again, you know, he has got a power button here and I've got manuals. So what, who am I going to use on who? So Sarge, I'm going to go ahead and just use that and call it a day for now for him and let's go okay so right here on rusty i've got three dots so i'm going to go ahead and do all three and see what happens so i'm going to go ahead and use let's see that was kind of a bad move seeing that he's maxed out at 20 now but not an awful move and those are the mistakes that we're going to learn together because Again, um, it is uh, a little complicated as a new game. And not overly complicated. It isn't hard. It really is leveling up. So now his hero power has went up because he's a first lieutenant three instead of two. And then you go here. And then you continue to level up. Um, so he does kicking, right? Kicks in a, and this to me is a lot like a, kind of like an adrenaline rush. This one is more like your weapon upgrade, right? And then this one uh, looks like a damage reduction. So like maybe extra defense. So let's go ahead and do that for him. And then here's the other hero that I have, and this is Ghost. And again, you know, you can only do so much. So let's go ahead and use a couple of these and level him up. All right, and then we've got here, same thing. So we've got the pain block. Um, set up drums of paint with 692.50 HP. When the drums are destroy destroyed, paint will spill onto the ground and remain for six seconds. All right, so I'm going to definitely say that these are, you know, their, their specialty things that they do. Now, I know that these drums actually work. I've done it. So I would say that this is all, um, and there's another intel, so we'll go. So this is more like, you know, the weapon, the AR rush, the and then the the defense on it. What this this hero does to really, I don't know, make sure you stay safe. And then as you can see, there's eight not located. And then, you know, you need to just eventually find them. I already have a level puzzle pieces for her. And you collect puzzle pieces to be able to keep upgrading them. So that's extremely awesome. All right. So then the next dot up is the store. Obviously, um, there's something new if it's in here, if they want you to come here and see it. But here, their, their currency is are these cans right here and again you know when they have new daily deals by the way and this I found very cool okay so you get a daily free re re reward crate you get so much for free it's insane that was um a thousand two of each with like steel wood um food yeah it's unbelievable and then custom 
Here's another one you get to claim. That's a thousand experience. Tab event. Nothing there to claim. Nope. All right. Let's see. Carnival pack. That is what they have going on now. This is it. They're called bio caps. And this is their currency instead of coins or money or whatever. This is what you pay for and you use um, bio caps to get ahead in the game. So as of coins, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then, of course, you know, you can sign up for daily things like this. And then they have some really awesome deals going on like growth kits. And I thought this was really cool. Basically, what you do is you put in, you have so many, blah, blah, blah. And then you get to claim so many. So I got 100 free of these yesterday. Now, what you can do with these, and again, this is just like if we had, um, and I'm sorry, I I'm, well, I only play one other game, and that's The Walking Dead Road to Survival. And I'm not, I was never big into games before. And then The Walking Dead came out. I watched the show. Here we are, you know, years later. And now I, you know, this is a really cool, another zombie game from a different, completely different angle and, and played completely differently. And it's really fun. I've really enjoyed it. Get lost in for hours. Enjoy it. All right. I apologize. I need something to drink. All right. So I'm just fighting a cold again. Winter, I'm telling you. All right. So let's go over here and check this post again. Because like I said, I don't. I never remember seeing it any more than five minutes, but see, it says eight minutes now. But again, this is a new game. And they just did um, updates and maintenance again today. So I'm assuming that things are going to change a little bit here and there. All right. So again, we go where, where it tells you to, right? So I've got Z's over here, knowledge is power, go to the lab, chapter two with circles around it. I've got the wilderness, the map. Missions, Alliance, Heroes, Backpack, Mail, Store, Food, Wood, and Metal. And that's what it is. Food, Wood, and Metal. And then, of course, you have these. Okay? Um, the other thing I thought was super cool is that one of the main characters in this game's name is... Um, the same as my niece, and they actually look almost identical, and I thought that was super cool, and of course, she got a really big kick out of it. All right, so um, I 100% recommend this game, hands down. I really do. It is a lot of fun, and I'm going to go in there and show you the fun, but seeing that we're 13 minutes, and I'm not, I, this is going to be a longer one. If you want to stick around and check it out more, by all, doubt, uh, by all means, please continue watching. If you want to just go download it and start figuring stuff out on your own, go for it too. Um, I'm excited to learn this with you guys. This is a totally different angle that I haven't been able to come at anything before. So I think that's cool. All right. So your missions, you come in here. And again, you're constantly just collecting stuff. And you're constantly getting stuff. And I again, that went too fast. But here's... You know, the 60, and this is just daily rewards, as you can see. We've got six five-minute buildups, six five-minute research buildups, then two, and they, again, they went away too quickly. But you can make it all the way down here and get all this stuff every single day, and none of it's hard. Any of it that you go and it literally say go to, it will tell you exactly how to go there. And this is join an alliance, and then tells you that you get a 200 reward of their currency, their in-game currency. So there you go. There's money right there saved just by joining an alliance. Um, increases your construction and research speed. So being in an alliance, aka, you know, faction, aka what, guild, aka team, <laughs> um, it actually comes with advantages and bonuses that make you better it together other than teamwork um, and actual teamwork, like being in the game together at the exact same time type of teamwork. This is more teamwork of you build your game and I build my game 
and we get to work together and destroy the rest of the world map while killing walkers or zombies. Sorry. Um, that is definitely a Walking Dead thing, not a game thing. So I apologize. All right. So um, let's see. It says increase the power of your troops with Alliance Tech. Obtain rare and useful items from the Alliance store. So there's a specific store you can buy if you're in an Alliance. If you're not, you don't. Reinforce each other to defend your territory. And rally together to wage global war. That I am definitely interested in. But let's first, you know, do some stuff. So I have had some invites. Um, I don't know who any of these people are. I have not even gotten out there and started networking yet but I definitely will um I would like to be somewhere that is kind <laughs> that is a big one man I am so tired of the mouths in these games all right so next up you can go to the mail mail is clearly exactly what you think it would be we have war here you have your alliance here and you know your invites and all that good stuff your system here now, when there's a little gift box in it, it means that there are gifts. So it says right here, rewards. Greetings, Chief. They call everybody Chief. Due to a system issue, we launched a few urgent system maintenances during February 21st, 1900, 2100, um, UTC, February 25th, 710 to 830. The maintenance break lasted for around two and a half hours in total. Players online during that time may have not been able to log into the game or may have encountered connection issues. I actually did. Now, this is not a new thing to any of us in the gaming industry. They do not warn us. They shut down the game. And they don't tell us they're doing it. And then they do maintenance on it and they fix some things and debug it and whatever. And then we're up and running again, usually in a short period. Two and a half hours, a little excessive. Um, But, again... We sincerely are sorry, you know, we are sincerely sorry for all the inconvenience caused. Please collect your compensation. Thanks for understanding and support. State of Survival Team. This is where this game hands down impresses the shit out of me. Look at this. Advanced search map times four. A epic search map times one. Bio caps times 3,000. 3,000. 3,000 currency in-game handed to you because they did a boo-boo. 10, 10,000 gas, 10 or 400K metal, 2,000K food, 2,000K wood, two farm labor booths, two furn uh, furnace labor booths, two lum lumber yard labor booths, Two gas tank labor boosts, 20 chief experience, and 60 minute speed up times five. Yeah, that's a lot of really awesome stuff. My God, just the bio caps alone. 3,000 in game currency. That just blows my mind. So then this is where you can come and see what's going on. Now, this right here. We have posted a short video about the carnival event on Facebook fan page. We hope this short introduction video can help you learn the events and rewards rules better. Let's check it out now. And if you go and check out the video, you get 50 in-game currencies for free. I mean, I, and I'm not going to push go to because it's going to stop my video if I do. But any of these that have a gift on them, see the little gift? There's a gift. And then here you go again. We posted a video. About the influencer trap on our Facebook fan page. We have shared the strategies you may need for the event. And then again, you know, it keeps going and going and going. And then um, go to our Facebook fan page. So literally just going to... Okay, so I located Jane and got a ton of crap as well. So this is like super awesome. And I love this about the game. I don't know what half of this stuff is yet for. 24-hour VIP. What? Okay. I mean, speed-ups are, are very um, self-explanatory, right? As are your armies, as are food, wood, the basics. Everybody uses about the same basics. Um, 
And then, I mean, here you go again. We've got bi 500 biocaps, four advanced maps, one epic map. Those, I know you use them to find um, things to level up your players like we just did, those puzzle pieces, as well as other, other heroes. I will say, and see like right here, it's just they reward you heavily for playing the game. And while, real quick, and then here's another one. Go to YouTube, watch it, you'll be just fine. Um, I won some rewards, sweet. All right, so your VP status and benefits have expired. I'm not exactly sure what all of that means, but here you go. Follow us on, and then happy Valentine's Day, um, Instagram alerts. I mean, simple stuff that you can go and get really awesome, 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 awesome stuff. Like right here, they had another one where they had an update happen, and so because of that, they did all of this. It's just, I'm sorry, it really is super, super cool. I'm really enjoying how much they reward you to play the game. Now, this is part of um, this event going on, this carnival event, and you've got to collect cannonballs. And I am not 100% sure on this event. I'm not going to lie. What I do know is that every single time I use a speed up, I get a cannonball. And I mean, they come so drastically and so quickly that it's almost... Um, insane because it's at the top of your screen just repetitively dropping down that might be in settings again something I'll look into so as we learn this more and more so I'm going to go through and I'm going to collect these because I do want to show this event as well um in just a very short manner and nothing big so again I'm not ignoring alliances because I don't want to be a part of it I am ignoring because I need to do the proper research and I need to be in the right place I'm not going to lie. I'm clearly doing this. I need to be in the right place. All right. So here we have Hunting the Hunter starts in nine hours. Do you see how I've got a hand sticking out right in front of me? Like this is amazing. So then you go through and it tells you exactly what you do. Hunting the Hunter. I'm going to get involved in the event to locate Travis. He is a hero. It starts in nine hours and 40 minutes. On top of that, they have a damn countdown and when an event is going to happen. I love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Also, question marks. They have them everywhere. Killing infected. Obviously zombies. Okay, so they're infected here and zombies. Then here's the carnival event. So I was, and again, red dots, guys. Red dots literally show you exactly what you need to do with this game. So cannonballs remaining 17. Level 3. You have seen that I've made it a couple of levels. Now watch this. I'm just hitting this button and trying to, and I have no more cannonballs left. And then you try to do the level and then you get the gift. And so I got two maps and that's that. As simple as that. You collect the cannonballs and then you keep killing him and going down and, and collecting that. Um, you have your rankings leaderboard I am let's see I'm in <laughs> points are 69 my position rank is 3347th but as you can see people are up to 5000 points so it is doable to do some really cool stuff and then you come in here and here's your your rewards you know I mean come on this is a super crazy carnival HQ skin permanent that's another thing I thought is really cool is you have these skins so you get to decorate your place. I I find that intriguing. All right, so going on to the next. Again, this is an event going on I know nothing about, but yet I'm getting all of this stuff by just playing the game. That's it, just playing the game. Just following, um, just following him and... Or following the red dots and doing what I know I'm supposed to do by just doing what the game basically tells me to do. So it says day one claim. All right. Day two. Rarely infected. 
Nope, nothing. All right. So let's see. Log in three days. So let's log in. Stamina. Consume 20 chief stamina. Um, consume 100 chief stamina. And then the infected, you need to kill five. And so you just need to be killing walkers out in the wilderness. And then the stamina is leveling up. So literally, this event goes and rewards you for not only logging in every day, but for up leveling up every day, as well as killing zombies every single day. And again, there's always a question. The event lasts for seven days. There will be a three task Three task types unlocked each day. Each task type will last for five days. When a task is completed, a new task will be made available the same with, within the same task type. Seeing that we're seeing, I'm assuming that with the task going down of finding um, that guy, that's probably what we're looking at. You have seven days to which to complete the task. You will gain rewards for completing each task, plus special rewards for hitting certain targets. Unclaimed rewards will be sent via, via mail when the event has concluded. I also love that. Love that. How simple. If you're not around or you're busy or heaven forbid you're in the hospital and you can't sign in in time to claim the final rewards on the clock to, to, uh, countdown clock, but you have, you have already accomplished this. Just can't get into your game due to real life. You lose out in so many other games. This one is going to send it to you in your rewards box. I love, love, love that. I hope that sticks with everything they do. All right, so we've got Barker's Carnival. And I'm claiming this. And complete tasks to earn carnival experience. So you pay for this one on um, the premium if you want to. And then I guess you just kind of, I'm not even sure on this one. Let's see what it says. Estimated letters are level. Are you sure you want to obtain for 1120? Okay, so you, you buy to level her up. Gotcha. Okay, paying to do that. All right, going back. It says tasks. Train troops, complete two explorer trails, complete special intel. And again, if I were to push go to to any of these, it's going to take me directly in the game to where I need to be. But I want to make sure there is no more dots. All right, so I'm going to leave this right now because I have other things I want to show you. This is not about the event. The event is self-explanatory. Walk yourself through it and play the game. You're going to reach those milestones. I promise you that. All right, so we have intel back. Let's see, we've got a five minute healing speed up and now we're waiting 10 minutes. So it looks to be about a two minute jump. Food and wood, we got 60 minutes left on those guys. We got five minutes left on the rushers. And then as you can see, things will randomly pop up. You can do an epic search. You can do an advanced search. An epic search is... You get daily searches and you, you get to look for, okay, so I have a daily search of four right here. I'm not exactly sure if that stacks or what. I haven't came here but once and I did an epic search with the map and I did find, um, I ran out of space and so we're going to pick up right where we left off, literally. So I know that there's a four day search or four searching it says on here. So we're going to do the advanced search. And this is what it does. And it will find you a character, puzzle pieces, things. So let's see what it finds us. All right. So we have a thousand food, seven of them, two wood, and then we have a speed up of a research speed up five minutes. So now I can search again in four minutes or I can use the map. I'm going to wait the time out. Why am I going to use a map if it's going to continuously let me? Now, obviously, I have 10 up here and I have 5 up here of the epics, but you're going to need them later on in the game. That is a big thing. Stockpile your stuff when you don't know what it's for. We make those mistakes and then we are not happy about it later. All right, so this will pop up. These are also more daily rewards. And then we have the alliance, like I said, where you need to go through and decide. 
mail again. Same thing as before, collected all of those. So what's up next? What do you do next? You have people training, you have your wood going. I mean, everything's going as fast as it can. Everything is where it should be. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Because what else are you supposed to do? Probably upgrade them though. All right, so now look at this. I have 2,147, which is awesome because you need the food and you need a lot of it and quickly. And so to be able to get those kind of benefits um, when you are really playing, starting to learn a game, I'm sorry, they're priceless to me. They really are. And because I want to learn it. I do. I want to learn this. I want to know how to play this game. And I want to do it really, really well. To do that, I need to be able to get to where I need to go. I love that they make that a little easier on us. Um, so you can collect, upgrade, label, labor boost for a day, labor boost for a day. And, of course, in, um, info. Everything has info on it. Now, if I'm going to upgrade this, I obviously need more. But I want to do that. Now, you can instantly upgrade things as well. Um, as far as uh, paying to instantly upgrade them, right? I'm not going to ever waste my time doing that. And the only reason I outright say that is because um, I know that I know me. I'm not going to, there we go, and I totally lost my train of thought, and I'm going to lie, I heard a noise in the kitchen, and that was that, and then, yeah, so, anyways, but upgrading them, you're going to need to do regularly. The fact that they have made this queue full, so you can only do what I, I want to believe, one at a time, no, two one at a time, that's right, two at a time. And I do enjoy that too. Two at a time, that's made things easier. But here we go. Mission, daily reward, train 10 infantry, done. Okay, so now I do want to show you guys a couple of things. So I need to collect these. I apologize. But I do. All right, and I need to go ahead and start researching some more. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and train more. And we are going to train some more rushers because they're the most badass right now and I need them. All right. And so let's go to the research lab. We're going to want to research some stuff. And again, all stuff that you can. All right. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and use this. Go ahead and research it. And then there you go. Cannonball found for using the speed ups. So I think that's super, super cool. And then again, mail down here. There it is. There's that cannonball. All right, and then with those, I would definitely be stockpiling them up. Don't go in there and hit that dude with one ball. I, he seems to do better if you hit him with a lot. All right, so now you've got you've got chapter two, part one. So you've got chapters as well. So I need to choose an alliance, and I really do. That is stopping me currently at doing some of the next stuff I need to do. Um, and so anyone out there playing the game, shoot me a message. Let me know. I really am looking for a really solid home, um, and I'm not looking to be a leader. That is the number one thing. <laughs> and so I'm looking for a legit home, not to run a home. And so let me know. And then um, let's go ahead. We're going to go actually down to the wilderness now. And this is going to show you the map. And this is kind of cool. All right, so again, as you're going through all of this, you can, where did this just come from? It says I have one. Oh. 
All right. I got invited to a new alliance. Thank you guys again. Super grateful. So you can search. You can do Intel. Intel is looking at someone else um, and, you know, debating on if you're going to attack them or not. Okay. And then you have over here, you have hordes of uh, zombies. And then you have or the infected. And then you have the infected fiends. And... You can rally, right? Recommended troop power is this. This is how far it is. It's going to take you this long, and you're going to rally for 25, and you could possibly get all of these. So you can go to a bunch of cool places and come and attack all of these from wherever you are, right? Now, this, again, is the map. You can go and attack other people, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, this is the carnival that they were talking about with the skin. So Mark Mars has it, and this is the way that it looks. Now, everybody with the green shield definitely is shielded. The easiest way I have found to do this is to go to your missions, both here and here, as well as going back to the settlement and going to the events. So let's say we're going to go into the carnival, and it's already pushing me along. We've got an all night long. It's carnival time. Take part in different events to earn great rewards, including limited crazy carnival HQ skins and decorations. Car join the carnival parade, carnival contest, carnival ball hunt, and carnival terror event to collect cannonballs. Use them to complete the challenge and win fantastic rewards, including the crazy carnival HQ skin. All right, so basically everything that we knew it was going to be. Why it pointed me there again, I have no idea. So these all finish in time, right? One day, eight hours. Let's go ahead and, and, and see if I can get in here. All right, so this is incomplete. This doesn't tell us anywhere where to go. And how to earn points. Increase power one by one through construction. So all you're doing is um, upgrading your town to continue to hit these milestones. So you want a total points of 136,732. Self-explanatory, guys. I'm loving this. Hunting the hunter. That hasn't started yet. What else? What's nine hours? Okay. So how to earn points. Again, perform one epic hero search. Perform one advanced hero search. Use one elite hero fragment. Use one hero, um, epic hero fragment. Use one legendary hero fab. So, okay. And then we have us back here. Stop that critter. Nice. All right. And then again, you can unlock more awards by paying a small fee. Okay, so going through, now we need a level up. That's leveling up. All right, let's see. This is the critter. Let's see. That's not that. Bear with me a second. I am trying. Here we go. To find this. All right, so this is Rally Infected Fiends One Time Donations. Make 20 donations to Alliance. So you need to be an Alliance. And then the timer help. Um, give 20 Alliance timer helps, and this is where you can really help your, your Alliance and, and do very well. Not the one I was looking for though. Um, let's see, maybe this, yes. All right. Um, use speed ups for a chance, kill infected for a chance. So let's say go to this. It's going to take us straight out here, right? Now look. See how it instantly has the hand pointing? And we're going to search. And what are we going to search for? We're going to search for infected, infected fiend, food, wood, metal, gas, plague zone. And we're going to search. And it's going to put you exactly at an automatic level that you should be. Now, here you see we found it. I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to attack. It's a 51 second mar or 58 second march. I have all of my people. If I want to bring in, um, if I want to know exactly what's going on, here are all of my stats right now. Um, and then obviously you just go from there. All right. So 
crap. It took me backwards. I apologize, guys. Hold on one second. Let me go back there. All right, so we're going to go back to search. We're going to search for the infected. It's taking us here now. And this is a 59 seconds. And then that's that. It's going to go. It's going to attack. And you're either going to win it, you're going to lose it, and you go from there. Now you come back in. You collect your stuff. I just leveled up. And I got a 10 governor credits, um, 14, 20 experience for chief, uh, six, five minutes and two, five minute healing. So five minute training and healing. Awesome. And I'm sorry, not level up, but you know, a, I don't even know what you would consider this as you're going from crate to crate throughout the day. Um, but obviously this is going on, right? So say that you want to now hit this. Go to, go to idle. All right. So this is idle right now. What can I do? I can train more people. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I can speed it up knowing that speed ups are helping me. See the cannonballs coming through. We want to use these and I'm even going to use it on this. Especially because, you know, this is a very real, uh, thing for you guys. All right, so there we go. That's done. Now I've got a bunch of stuff to collect, so I need to do that. So I've got this. We've got some wood. Medicine's popped up. What's going on? Oh, I have some people to heal up. Three were injured. All right, so we're going to heal them real quick. All right. We're actually... Going to speed this up as well because they can be used. And I love that you can't overuse unless you want to. Like there's a countdown on it. Like, hey, if you do this, you're going to be wasting 40 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever. And yes, I've wasted some seconds. Now you come here and all right, we've collected, we've collected. Now notice I'm not on the world map. Now I'm I'm in here and I'm going I'm doing other things. I, I've moved on because they automatically go and do it themselves. And I love that. I love that I can continue to go within the game and do it my way. And it was triumphant. I had a victory. So I beat them and I only lost eleven um points and I ended up killing them. So here you are, and that's that. So now you can power up, obviously, and that's going to give you these types of benefits. Everything has something you can purchase for something that's going to help you really advance, especially in the beginning of the new games. That's when you want to make your purchases, in my opinion, most of them, and when you want to then stockpile them to the very fullest. Don't be wasting a bunch of this stuff you have no idea that they're for. Don't be wasting it when you know that you need to do, you know, A, B, C, D, and E. All right, so there is one, you know, um, player against game um, combat. I actually enjoyed that the most. I'm just not exactly sure how to find it, so please bear with me. All right, so let's see. Maybe... You must be in an alliance to launch a rally. All right, so I can't go after him without being in an alliance. That's good to know. I really do need to join one. And it's not like I'm trying not to. It's just, again, research got to be the right place. Let's see what we can do for food. New, no food found in the vicinity. How about wood? No wood found in the vicinity. Metal? Nope. Gas? Nope. Plague zone. No. All right. So we have the infected. I can definitely go again and again and again, remembering that I do have um, this event going on. Now, attack with 10. It's a minute 24. Um, and then they automatically, again, just go for you, come back, and then let you know what needs to heal, be healed up. All right. So I have a red dot up here, and I'm not exactly sure why. So you've got your achievements. 
stats, army, leaderboard, settings. I mean, there really is a lot. And that guy's name is Chief, just so you're aware. All right, so I saw a red dot up here, and then we've seen some down here. All right. Now, the other thing I want to get to, and bear with me for just a second. I need to train. I want to speed. So looking and going into the map, we've seen this. Now, this is the other part of the game that I think is super cool. Um, is this map. So you go to the hero pre, uh, precinct and you can definitely do this thing called explore and you go on trails and there's storylines. And this is the attacking I was talking about earlier. That is really a lot of fun. It really is. All right. So we're here. My challenge is this. Um, my squad I'm bringing in is this and hopefully we beat it. So the road to hell is paved with good intentions and covered with infected. So then I like this scene too. This is what it goes into on every single one. Um, so I'm going to actually read through this storyline part for you. So what's this new research facility you need us to trek, trek to? It's an old, I don't know, <laughs> elixir lab. It's quite a distance away, but I suspect it may be the origin of the outbreak. Whoa, hold up. You actually expect us to go to the source of this mess? Sounds like my kind of road trip. So now you follow the arrows, you move your guys, you attack all this stuff, and I'm going to show you that. But the backstory on this and what you guys didn't get to see originally, and I apologize, I... I wanted to get a feel for this and see if I was going to like it first before. And uh, I didn't want to come in here completely blind on what I was doing and just be silent as I tried to figure it out. Um, but it is super, super cool. And the backstory is, is that they are obviously trying to find a cure and what caused this. Now, as you can see, we have diamonds. If you click on them, they'll come over here and we're going to collect stuff. You can pick them all up and you can auto pick up. Now, Rusty Fragment you're going to want it because that's how you level up your guys. Again, those puzzle pieces, they call fragments. Um, and then you can auto pick up. The only reason I have it off auto pick up right now is because I want to be able to um, show you guys exactly what we get. So here we go. And you just keep on walking and you keep on going forward until this happens. A infected alert. Now, this is where things get a little interesting. So you've got your canister. This is where your my ghost guy has his stuff on what it's going to help me and keep me safe. So I'm going to drop this there. Now he's got a turret, and I'm actually going to put it right here. Now, as you can see, it auto shoots, it auto does everything, and then as things are able to be used, you can put it back down. Now, you can only use so many as you can see, and for example, all of them have like a special, a special thing. The girl I have uses the teddy bear that has um, this, and now I'm going to drop this right here and put some protection between me and these guys because they're no joke right now, as you can see them coming in. I do love the slow motion when it stops for a second and you're able to do his huge um, hit. All right, so then it automatically shoots. I'm doing absolutely nothing right now, just so you guys are aware. I don't know why it dropped way over there. That was not... Um, not ideal. It should have dropped way over in front of all of these. For this ex reason exactly is that there is a lot of them. Let's drop it right on top of them. And again, you just kind of let it go. Now you can manually attack as well. You can see right here it's manual. Um, I personally am happy with the autoplay that it's already set up on. Um, with having this kind of control, you, I do just fine. All right, so I was able, I 
got more experience. Um, and then obviously, first time victory, five squad stam stamina points are replenished. Then I get this. Nice. And then I get this on top of that. So awesome, awesome stuff for sure. And then you kind of keep going around. So I'm going to show you one more of these because I think they're fun. And these zombies are unbelievable. Now you can go through and see all the different ones that they have. And I think that's kind of cool as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in here one more time. All right, excuse me again. I had to take a drink. And since this is but a long one. So bags of cookies, not sure what they're for yet. But have seen them already. And then there are some more. So I, I legitimately have no idea. But they're definitely a thing. <clears throat> I would assume some kind of food. Now, as you can see, you have a uh, zombie up here, this big gross thing, and then you have the little hazard sign of where they're coming from. Kind of gives you the opportunity to do what you need to do, right? Set your people up properly and, and set up a protection barrier of some point. So I'm going to set this here, and I'm going to set this one right here. And then that way I've got some help coming from both angles. And not enough at this point. Really could use to drop that again. There we go. Let's see. We've got a lot coming from over there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop it right here. And we got some more coming from over here. And basically this is what you do. Like, legitimately, what you do. Um, and then keep going through the map. And then you keep getting these awards. And then the further you get, of course, there's other things as well. The biggest, um, the biggest being, obviously, the circus uh, carnival event going on right now. And that is that it... As you do these and, and complete these, you are able to um, collect more out of there, right? All right, so then I got some more of those. Awesome, way more, more awesome stuff. So again, you are constantly just being inundated with more and more and more and more and more. And then as this is all happening, let, let's go ahead and go back actually to our town and... um. And see what we've hit. So I hit a milestone there. All right. Awesome. Got these awards. Awesome. Hit another crate for today. And these update every day and it blows my mind. I also have a hero to update. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do that with Ghost. And so, I mean, it really does just happen so fast. And and um, self-explanatory. Really... I am really enjoying this game, and I think you guys will too. So I want to go ahead and grab these cannonballs real quick, and then we'll go shoot that guy, and we'll call it a day on this one. Um, but I really, I highly recommend it. It is definitely different um, than anything else, and I think that's really awesome. All right, so let's see. It says I've got a red dot here that I completed a task to explore trail challenges, which I just did with you guys. So claim those and then go in here and I'm going to claim those. So literally all you need to do is play the game and you're going to continue to hit these if you're not exactly sure what they are. Most of the time, as you can see, we are getting it where they're telling us um, exactly where to go, which I personally believe is awesome. And then again, I've got quite the stash here. Now, that's the point. Don't keep hitting your cannonballs once they're dead. Um, it's easy to do, especially when you're trying to get as many hits in there as possible to save them, right? 
So as you continue to knock those points off, and then there you go. And then we go ahead and claim this, 12, and 12 more. And then keep on going down, and you've got plenty of time to get it done. All right, so you guys, this is my very long review, and um, bear with me. I did have some storage issues on my phone today, so there might be a little bit of a jump in between a um, couple of seconds. If there is, I apologize. Um, new editor, new laptop, still learning on that one, um, but should go flawlessly. Highly, highly recommend. Absolutely 100% enjoy this and I'm going to continue to play it. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and an awesome week. I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, of course, always ask. I am super new to this one, um, but I will always do my absolute best to help you guys. You know that. So I 100% say check it out. It's got my stamp of approval. I really do enjoy it. I'm loving the roadmaps. I'm loving that there's the wilderness and that you can do multiple things at once. I think that's just super cool. I'm loving the graphics. I'm loving the storyline. Um, it is just a really good game. So all around. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you are not aware, I will be thanking subscribers every single month from here on out. I do get alerted when you subscribe. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. If you want notified on any videos I'm going to be doing, you can customize them down to you only want them on Tuesdays. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and hit that bell right next to subscribe, and you're going to be notified Per your um, request, how you set it up through YouTube, obviously. All right, guys. So again, don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. Have an awesome, awesome week. And uh, thanks again for watching.